we have a player from Argentina called Mariano Copello. Mariano inside the field is a different person than when he's outside the field. And yesterday he, he was he had a little fight with this player and he was getting too too anxious, so we have to take him off of the field. Well, the moment you're all passionate about the game, you're all excited and all you're running, you know, and sweating, you're, you're like all tense. And then this guy, I don't want to say bad words, but he comes and pushes me, you know, and what are you going to do? You're going to stay there and be like, yeah, well, no, I just went and start yelling at him and saying things. I told Mariano, you are a professor. He's like, I don't care, I'm a professor. I'm going to kill him. I said, Mariano, take it easy. Uh, you're playing, this is only sport. And thank God he took me out of the, the field or I'll just kick that guy in the face. International students at Lindenwood University participate in an annual soccer tournament which includes some of the most fiercely contested matches known to intramural sports. It is called the Friendship Cup. The name is not without some irony. Um, the Friendship Cup is a soccer tournament they do here at Lindenwood University. And Lindenwood has so many international students and soccer is such an international sport that uh, most of the teams are formed by international players and they end up being like teams like Serbia, Spain, Honduras. I mean, everybody from the same nationality creates their own team. In Spain, everybody plays football. Since you're a kid, it's like the dream of everybody to be a soccer player. And at some point, some of us, when we're 12, some of us when we're 16, we realize we're never gonna make it because we're not good enough. So coming here and represent your team, have the Spanish jersey with the name in the back, and like really represent your country playing soccer, for us is really, we take it as a real World Cup and as a real opportunity to, to play a World Cup, which is uh, something we're obviously never gonna make. It. This cup is like our World Cup. Like not a lot of people have heard about it, but when you're actually in the soccer team and you play that cup, you, if, you, if you lose, if you do bad, everybody's gonna tease you, everybody's gonna, give you a hard time, but then if you win, then you, you can give hard time, you can, you're like, more respected than if you, if you, if you lost. It's called the Friendship Cup, obviously, but uh, nobody wants to lose and nobody wants to make friends. People just want to win. Sometimes those friends, you kind of lose them in, in, during the games. And maybe the next day you have a class with one of them and he'll be like, oh, we beat you. And you're like, oh, you, you really want to kill him. There's nothing really friendship about it. It's pretty more like the unfriendship cup. It's a bunch of fights all the time. I got myself into a couple of fights, got a spell from the stadium a couple of times too. We actually, our second friendship cup, we were kicked out of the tournament because we got into a fight against Bosnia and some of the fans jumped into the field. In what may be a nod to their former empires, both the French and Spanish teams recruit players from many other countries, including former colonies. It's easy when we get to get players from South America because they speak the same language. This year we have players from Cameroon and from Bosnia. Imagine a guy from Cameroon to be in the Spanish team. If it's a dream for me, imagine what it is for him. Sunday night we're playing against Spain and it's the biggest game of the group stage. We can't lose, we have better players, we, we just we have to win. It's a win or lose game. If we win, we progress, we lose, we go, we're done. No one wants to be done after this game, everyone wants to keep playing. Or you go on or you're starting or you're not starting, it doesn't matter, guys. Everyone's a part of this team and everyone, everyone's got to be a part of this win, guys. And when we get our opportunities, let's take them, guys. And let's be positive towards each other. Does anyone yeah. opt to mind if we pray? Go ahead. Let's do it. Okay. It worked last time. Lord, our Father, what in heaven, please be with us today. Please help us to get this victory. Please help us to have no injuries. Please with our opponents as they are also your children. Please bless us all on this tonight, tonight, God. Please help us to be victors. Amen. Come on, boys. Let's go, boys. Hey, on three. On three, hey, boys. On three. Yeah. One, two, three. We go, legends, boys. One, two, three. Legends! Let's go, boys. Let's go. Uh, the French team, they're a bunch of cocky little dudes. They're just cocky players that they all got together to make this cocky team, and they think that they shit. So they, they think they're going to be really, really confident against us on Sunday, but I mean, we're gonna give them a big surprise and it's gonna be f so funny, so great to see their sad faces. Oh, we're really looking forward to play against France. As you know, France and Spain, we're neighbor countries, but um, we kind of don't really like each other. I mean, if 
you know a little bit about history, you can see how France invaded Spain in a couple of times. They actually put their own kings to govern our people, and it's always a lot rivalry. <laughs> As French people, everybody hates us for some reason. We pretty much have haters all around the world, but that's that's for every sport. Every time that you're gonna have a sport event, and between European countries, there's gonna be some some rivalry somehow. Okay, let's shake hands and we'll go play. GG. Let's go. 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 The match began with all the expected intensity. Hostility was apparent more than once, but ultimately tempers yielded to strong athletic play. French defense was as effective as had been predicted. However, the Spanish team protected their goal just as well. The game ended in a 0-0 tie, leaving both teams in an awkward limbo between pride and shame. There's friends before the game, there's friends after the game, but during the game, Everybody want to win, so yeah, sometimes the friend I would have off field are not, I mean, they still my friends on field, but we don't behave the same way. We all, everybody want to win. 